You spend a lot of time looking at the interior of a vehicle, and that's why it's so important. I mean, if you're going to be sitting in traffic, wouldn't you want to be looking at fine quality craftsmanship, beautiful margins, uh, tastefully done silver shadow features. Even at nighttime, there's little details such as ambient lamp lighting. So underneath the dash and going around the edges of the doors actually is, um, is LED and fiber optic lighting, which is selectable. So the customer can select three different colors. So you can set the mood and intensity of the light that's in the vehicle. From the moment you open the door in the ML63, you know that you have an AMG in your hands. Uh, it has an illuminated door sill, which, which has the AMG logo. And then looking into the interior, you see all of this wonderful leather and contrast stitching. The interior is quite different on the ML63 versus a 550 or say a 350 uh, because Designio leather is actually standard. Uh, Designio tends to be one of our higher end options on a lot of our vehicle lines and Designio provides us with custom leathers and, and trims and paints as well, but this interior comes standard. Sumptuous leather which was hand selected and hand stitched. Contrast stitching which gives you these wonderful accents to the lines of the seats and the lines of the dashboard and, and trims that really you couldn't find anywhere else. This particular vehicle is, is fitted with a poplar wood finished with a piano black lacquer to a mirror shine. Really, really a, an avant-garde attention grabber when you get in there. As you sit down in the 14-way power chair, which also has uh, heat and ventilation standard, you take a look at this amazing dashboard. Uh, it's all about the attention to detail. The Designio leather with the contrasting stitching. Uh, the silver elements here, which mimic the silver elements that are on the front and rear of the car. You can really see that this is one fantastic interior. As you sit in this seat, you can really tell it was designed for performance. The seats hold you nice and snug into the vehicle, and you look upon this very beautiful cockpit. First thing you see is the AMG steering wheel. Covered in leather with uh, perforated side grips. Behind that, it has a set of aluminum shift paddles so that you can command the transmission into what gear you want. Um, and a whole host of, of buttons that operate the navigation system um, and also the other features of the vehicle. Behind that is the AMG instrument cluster. Gauges are surrounded in the same silver that you saw with the rest of the dashboard, but they have their own unique face because this is in fact an AMG. And of course, the, the top speed indicator is a little bit higher on this car. As you take a look at moving into the dash itself, you'll see that right here, everything is aligned in one particular location. It makes it easy to grab without really taking too much of a look. The new ML is actually fitted with our command controller. This simple rotary knob allows you to control almost all the features of the command system, whether that is navigation, Bluetooth, Sirius satellite radio, accessing your iPod, or downloading music onto the hard drive registry, which is in the vehicle itself. You can do it all with a simple knob and simple motions. Most important about this is that it allows you to keep your focus on driving um, instead of looking for buttons on the dashboard. Um, also on the dashboard itself is a quite large uh, color screen, which gives you all the indicators from your radio and navigation and things of the like, as well as their respective uh, individual buttons. Coming down to the front panel here, this is where you can control your seats, whether it's ventilation or heat, turn on and off traction control, um, or you can actually uh, press the eco button. The eco button is what allows the eco start stop system to activate, where you can have additional fuel savings when you come to a traffic light, the engine turns off and then turns back on when you uh, go to leave the traffic light again. Traveling down the center console, you see the dual zone climate control, which allows the driver to have a different temperature than the passenger. And also, as we move back into the center console, you'll see there's an array of buttons here, which allow you to control the aromatic suspension, both raising and lowering the vehicle. Also access to control the transmission settings, whether you want to be in controlled efficiency, which is nice soft shifts, um, or you really want to get uh, spirited driving and, and move yourself into manual, where you completely control everything by the steering wheel paddles as well as control of the suspension itself, where you can make it uh, in comfort mode, which is the, the suspension is very soft and comfortable, or you can put it in sport mode, which again, really lends to that spirit of driving. And because it's always important to have a place to put your things, there's many little cubby holes, and cup holders, storage bins, and additional storage space, which allows you all sorts of places to put your things. The ML63 is a vehicle that invented this segment. The SUVs were always important. It, they had the utility, but they didn't necessarily have the style and performance. And this is where the ML63 kind of melds these together. You have uh, the utility of an SUV with the, the safety of Mercedes-Benz, all of the technologies that come along with that, but you also have the AMG aspect of it, which brings performance into this.
all wrapped together in, in beautiful styling, um, as well as once you take a look at the interior uh, and, and you see that Dizinho leather, you're, you're pretty much sold right off the bat. So really kind of it's the best of all worlds, and that's what makes the ML63 AMG the leader.